in 1453, the greatest siege in history occurred as Constantinople came under siege by the relentless Ottoman Empire, bringing the Christian world to its knees. For years, the Ottomans had been advancing west into Christian territories, tightening the noose around Constantinople, and the Byzantines and surrounding states had never fully recovered from the sack of Constantinople in 1204 during the Fourth Crusade. Calls for a crusade against the advancing Ottomans fell on deaf ears, and in 1451, when 19-year-old, brutally ambitious Mehmed II ascended to the Ottoman throne, he wanted to mark the beginning of his reign by conquering arguably the greatest city in the medieval world, stepping up a huge war effort in 1452. Mehmed knew the key to Constantinople was by sea, building an absolutely huge navy, rivalling that of the maritime powers of the Genoese and Venetians, meaning no relief would be forthcoming from them from the south. He also built the Rumel Hissar Fortress, meaning throat cutter, on the Bosphorus Strait, controlling this passage and cutting off any relief coming from the Black Sea. The Ottomans had assembled a massive army numbering anywhere from 60,000 all the way up until 150,000, with 100 ships and their deadliest weapon being some absolutely massive fuck off cannons, with the longest being 8 meters, able to hurl a thousand pound cannonballs, and these needed around 30 pairs of ox to move them forward, as well as over 200 men to stabilize the gun carriage. Although these beasts could have only realistically fired a few times a day, they would have caused immense damage, scaring the defenders shitless. The defending force was heavily outnumbered with only around 8,000 men, consisting of mainly Byzantines and a few other well-equipped Genoese and Venetian soldiers, and they were defending a population of around 50,000 in Constantinople. The defenders also had 26 ships situated in the Golden Horn of Constantinople, with a chain built across its mouth so no Ottoman ships could enter, and by the 2nd of August 1453, the Ottomans had surrounded the entire city. The Ottomans would face a steep task to break into Constantinople from its landward side, as its walls were some of the strongest ever to exist, consisting of three sets of them heavily crenellated with thick towers all along the way, as well as a ditch which was around 20 metres wide and 10 metres deep, and as long as the ditch stood, the defenders had a chance. Because as the old medieval saying goes, you make ditches, you get bitches. Mehmed's cannons heavily bombarded the city walls, however due to their extremely slow rate of fire, the defenders managed to plug the gaps with mud and rubble. The chain guarding the Golden Horn's entrance caused the Ottoman fleet quite a few problems, so Mehmed greased some logs making a path along here, dragged his ships over land, bypassing the chain entirely. The Ottomans won the naval skirmish and any survivors were impaled on a spike in front of the defenders, and the defenders in retaliation now brought 260 Ottoman prisoners to the wall, beheading them one by one in front of the Ottoman camp. Attempts to undermine the city walls were constantly foiled, and the defenders morale remained surprisingly high despite the roar of cannons with every able-bodied person contributing to the defence of the siege, and despite the Ottomans' overwhelming numbers, victory was looking far from certain. A month and a half in, Mehmed offered to lift the siege if they gave him the city, and in return he would give safe passage to anyone inside, which was of course rejected, and now the Ottomans stepped up preparations for a final assault. The Turkish forces focused on the weak points of the walls they had been pounding for the last month and a half, as Genoese General Giovanni Giustiniani was wounded, leaving the battlefield sparking an awful chain reaction of disastrous events, as his troops he was commanding now panicked and fled. His removal sparked a new Ottoman assault around here before they overwhelmed the remaining defenders on the walls as violent street battles broke out as the last line of defence before the Ottomans brutally sacked the city. After 53 days of absolute horror, Constantinople had fallen, marking the end of the last remnants of the Roman Empire in the Byzantine Empire, as Mehmed II now looked to build an empire to rival that of the Roman Empire.